Hello guys, this is a new Blender tips and tricks video for hard surface modeling using modifiers. The result will be a kind of arc with crisp and beveled edges. So let's start here by adding a simple cylinder with 24 vertices and the cap fill type we set to nothing. Then I rotate it 90 degrees around the x-axis, then scale it like that. And then I switch to edit mode and select the faces that I want to keep. Ok, now let's invert the selection by pressing Ctrl and I and then I delete these faces. Alright, that's our starting point, now switch to object mode and add the first modifier. This is the solidify modifier to add some thickness to this model. I choose even thickness and then you can crank this up either in negative or positive direction. The next modifier that I'm going to add is the bevel modifier. I add three segments for my bevel and I play around with the value for the width. After that I select the angle option so that the bevel is applied to the edges above this angle only. The last modifier that I will add is the subdivision surface modifier or short subserve modifier. This will make our model look more smooth and crisp. The drawback is that more polygons are added. You can adjust the subdivision levels for the view and for the render separately. I try one and then I go back to the bevel modifier and adjust the width for the bevel. In order to get really crisp edges I have to turn up the subdivision levels to two. Once I'm happy with the result, I apply the modifiers from the top to the bottom. And here's the resulting mesh, as you can see, many polygons, but we can optimize this a little bit. I select these edge loops here by pressing Alt, Shift and right click and then I press space to find the command Delete Edge Loops. Ok, and the same thing I do for these edge loops here. So here's our resulting hard surface arc, a bit optimized and the shading looks fine. So guys, I hope you liked these short tips for Blender or other applications and if you do, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to be notified when the next video is online. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support if you already support me on my Patreon and come back soon to JNM.